Hey guys, and happy October 3rd. So I just had a few minutes to quickly record a new to me vendor that I wanted to haul before I got out the round robin box, but I didn't have the time and I really wanted to get the round robin box out. So there is one of these little goodies in the round robin box. So whoever gets it next will find it um, and hopefully enjoys it. But this is a new to me vendor um, that I just actually one night, um, if if you know who you are, Wax, uh, Wax Enablers Group, we were just chit chatting about vendors and new vendors and, uh, you know, folks were saying, who do you want to try? And so it was just on the Etsy page and I actually found this vendor um, and they came highly recommended. Now, honestly... I have one complaint about them, but we'll get into it as I go through what I purchased. But the name of the wax shop is Little Blue Coop Soaps. Um, and actually they have wax melts too. And they have a multitude of scents, spring scents, summer scents, and I purchased some of their fall scents. The biggest thing that caught my eye was a particular lavender scent. So that is like what I really wanted to try out. And then I ended up buying um, a few other things and it was reasonably priced. Um, I'm looking to see if the pricing's on here now, but there is no pricing on here. I think I ordered, let's see, nine. I ordered about nine or 10 items and the vendor is in Connecticut. And I think it was like $35, $40. Um, I don't know if that includes shipping, but again, I purchased this back at the end of September. Um, September 20th, give or take. Quick shipping too, actually. I ordered on September 15th and it was scheduled to ship about a couple days later. And I did get it, I think in the like three or four days. So this is, um, again, a new to me vendor and it's called Little Blue Coop Soaps. And so they have soaps and they also have wax melts. So let's get into it. Um, I was able to purchase, um, and like I said, uh, some of this is already either on their way. Um, I sent some to Summer, um, and then uh, there's a few, I think there's two items in the round robin box. So I won't tell you what the scents are. Well, maybe I will if I have the scent notes here. Um, but I wanted to share with you what I got. So she offers um, these kind of snap bars along with um, like a bunt. And so the first thing that I got, uh, which is on their way, one of these is on your on the way to you, Summer. It's called Sweet Dreams. And if I remember the scent notes, so two things, well, three things. Um, it's in this like bag that's taped. Um, and so I don't know if I double bagged what I sent in a polyurethane bag. Is that what it is, polyurethane bag? Um, so it's really kind of flimsy. So I don't know if over time, if you don't use the wax, if it will um, either like air will get to it. So I double bagged your summer and then I also double bagged what I put in the round robin. And this is really pretty. It is a herbal lavender, um, very creamy herbal lavender. Um, I wish I had the scent notes. I thought I did. I would have brought them up on my phone, but it's Sweet Dreams. See the little icon? Let's see if you can see it. Well, focus. It's not gonna focus, but it's a little blue coop. It's cute, this little coop. Um, but yeah, this is Sweet Dreams. And so far it's soy and a paraffin, paraffin blend. Um, it's not a very long lasting performer of what I did use and I'll get into that set in a minute, but go caught my eye with Sweet Dreams. So I purchased one for myself and then I sent one to Summer. So um, that was that one. I won't get into fall just yet. Then I grabbed, um, and they're really cute. I don't wanna take it out of the bag. I purchased an iced lemon cookie and you know me in Lemon Bakery. This is lemon zest, vanilla and sugar cookies. So it does have the scent notes on this one but not on this one, so kind of strange. But that is the label. And you see it's kind of got glitter. I mean, really nice, nice snap bars. Um, I think these were maybe $4, I can't remember. Or $3.75. And this is really good lemon bakery. It's not artificial smelling. Um, you get a nice lemon sugar cookie. So I wanted to try it. Um, and give it a whirl, but that's iced lemon cookie. Um, another one I have not warmed, and as you can see, it's already popping up. This is pumpkin cookie. This is pumpkin souffle. Sugar cookies, 
and pumpkin and pumpkin caramel crunch. Say that a couple times fast. And this is nice. Um, it's very, very um, sweet caramel, pumpkin caramel, if you like caramel. Um, you do get pumpkin souffle similar to Knoll's Farm Scents um, and Travis's pumpkin souffle. I mean, this is a really creamy, sweet pumpkin. So I'm glad I got that one. That's pumpkin cookie. Another one that I got is Haunted House. Really cute. It's got little bats and purple and uh, two-tone. Um, this one is Haunted House, Zucchini Bread, Candy Corn, Cider Lane, and Sugared Waffle Cone. Now, you know me. I do not like Zucchini Bread, but what caught my eye was I'm really liking Cider Lane. And the first thing you get off the bat is Cider Lane and Zucchini Bread. I mean, it's a really good cider lane and zucchini bread the cider lane kind of reminds me a little bit of rose girls but the zucchini bread is equal parts with the cider lane the cider lane doesn't really take over that well that much so that one's actually really interesting so i'm eager to try that one out so that is haunted house and then last of the snaps, um, I did try this one here in my office. It's called Fall Fireside. This is Cider Lane. Pumpkin, pecan, waffles, marshmallow, and marshmallow fireside. And it's a gray, pretty rack wax with some gold, kind of gold to orangey glitter. Um, and I have one cube going here in my office, and it was really nice. The pumpkin, pecan, waffles are there, as, as Steph usually says, in the back seat. Um, but primarily you get the cider lane and the marshmallow fireside. It's really, really creamy. Now, again, I had one cube in here and it wasn't that strong. Um, and it only went for like five hours. So, I mean, I, again, I don't know if it needs to cure. Um, I haven't warmed it in my open concept. My plan is to try one of these, the rest of them in my open concepts, either tomorrow or this week. But that's it for the snap bars. All right. And then I got a strawberry shortcake, Bunt. I wanted to try strawberry. And this, I'm very picky about my strawberries. This is a creamy strawberry, but it is a sweet strawberry. So you get more of a fresh picked strawberry as opposed to, I guess maybe a creamier one. Like I said, it was creamy, but it's a creamy fresh strawberry, if that makes sense. So there is not, is there a bakery now? I, I mean, again, the bag is kind of flimsy. I don't, I don't know if it needs to cure. Um, I'm assuming it would, but um, this is more of a fresh picked with a hint of cream. Like it's not like strawberry pound cake from um, Lavender and Speckles or um, what's the other strawberry pound cake? Um, from Second and Spruce. So this one is a little more fresh picked, more towards K, K smell. Um, so that's that one. And then I added some, I added a snap bar. I won't tell you what the fragrance is. I added a snap bar in, um, in the Brown Robin, as well as a bag of brittles. And I won't tell you what's in that either. So I added two things into the Round Robin and I won't spoil. And then I think this was a sample. So, I mean, super cute. And this one, look how cute the label is. Little Boo Coop Wax Melts. This is Christmas by the Fire. This is Christmas Tree, Mistletoe, Fireside, and Cinnamon Red Hots. Now, you know me in Red Hot. I probably should also put this in the Round Robin. And it is Red Hot. You open it up and you get like, remember the Cinna Red Gum or the Cinnamon Gum or whatever that red gum is, red. That is it. That's all I get. I do not, well, I mean, I do get a little bit of the Christmas tree. Tree and Red Hot. I mean, it might be surprising. And these are cute. These are really cute. These little shapes remind me of the shapes that um, Melted Moose has in her bags. So that's a sample. Nice size sample too. That is like a full um, thing. So that's it guys. That is my new to me vendor. First time little mini haul from this Etsy shop. Like I said, I was just perusing one night. It's bad when you peruse wax at night and you make purchases. So 
I just wanted to share that with you all, but that is Little Blue Coop Soaps um, on Etsy. So it's littlebluecoopsoaps.etsy.com. So go check her out. Um, so far, whatever experience I have had, um, it's light, but pretty decent performer. Um, and I'm looking forward to trying out the rest. So stay tuned to my warm reviews. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.